and welcome to In Around Plays, where today I am joined by the lovely Steph. Hello! And we are playing The Survey. Woohoo! So, this is... A... If it's data collection, it sounds like my kind of thing, <laughs> to be fair. That is very true, and I, and I think you'll be very good at it. Um, but The Survey, I have no idea what it's about. Is it a horror? Is it a jumpy one? Well, listen to the old-timey music. That sounds nice. The the blood stains on the screen are giving me a small. Clip. We ignore that. It's possibly not a horror. It is possibly just <laughs> data entry. Um, but I don't know where I got this game from. I can't remember. But I will find out and I will add it to the link in the description below. So check it out for yourselves. And when you're ready, press new game. Listen, I I've made a fatal error. Okay. I drank a full can of coke before I sat down. <laughs> so you made I've been piss in yourself. Your microphone. No, no. Oh, Only okay. you do that. <laughs> no, I was simply going to say that if I get a jump scare, will your microphone pick up burps? Because <laughs> I'm feeling quite gassy. <laughs> oh, lovely! I'm sure everybody needed to hear that. <laughs> Okay, now it's definitely a horror. Okay. Should the screen be doing that? Is there something wrong with you? Yes, it's part of the game. Right, press press new game. Jeez. Here it goes. Just. I press new game. I know. I think it's just loading because it's now gone greyed out. Okay. I'm assuming it's oh, loading. Oh, eight percent. Nine percent. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun watching. Isn't Maybe it? we should have pressed new game <laughs> before I started the intro <laughs> to give it time to. Do whatever it's doing. <laughs> Screen's doing my head in. Oh, the blood's gone. You see, everything's fine. Oh, no, it's coming no, back. No, it's come back. It's just a survey. Oh, there you go. 85. Blah, blah, blah. Press the space key to start. Trans transitioning to game. Okay. That was steady my eyes, Winnie. That was. So, have you played this? No. No, I just I, I can't remember where I saw it. I downloaded a load of games, and this Ooh. is okay. Can you see okay. anything? Well, I saw a cupboard. All right, so have a look around. It's dark. What? Oh no, it's still moving. It's still moving. Oh no, are we in bed? No, no, don't, don't press anything. Don't press you anything. You just said have a look around. Yeah, but that's before I saw that the camera was still Honest moving. Honest to God, you get me to play these <laughs> games. You never give me clear instructions. Right, now you can move around. Press E to interrupt right. I've done that before. Yeah, so that would be light switches With the arrow stuff. keys? W-S-D. Wasd. It's always wasd. <laughs> Have you ever played a game that's not wasd? No. Ooh. And the mouse to look around. <gasps> See that shadow there? What's that? Well, it's Is your that shadow. Me? <laughs> and use the mouse to look around. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's got look. big ears. Oh. Look down with the mouse. <laughs> Not up, down. <laughs> <laughs> have you got feet? You have feet. Oh, and a body. Oh. I'm a dude. Okay, so we need to try and find a light switch in that other room or a torch or something because you can't see anything. And I don't think the game's based in a cupboard. So go back into the dark. Yeah, and then <laughs> by <laughs> by pressing the wrong button. Here goes. Okay, there's got to be somewhere in the room. There's got to be a light switch. I would have thought. Uh, right, so there's that light switch there for the cupboard. There it is. Is that it? Mm, no, that's the not window. It. Mm. Press press S. Just step S. back. S. Oh no, there's a torch on the floor. Ah. Uh. Okay, so with the torch, so if you look down, that's it, and then press E. Look down more. Look down more. <laughs> Are you sure it's a torch? It looks like a torch. I can't. Press pick press it up. S. Uh, can can you crouch? Press the mouse. Does that? <laughs> Right, maybe we're not meant to pick I'm it up yet. I'm having one of those moments again. You know, you know, the other day when we were sitting down trying to do something and I was like, we're a right pair of shots, <laughs> Yes. Yes, we are. But Lou's are in it together. <laughs> oh, oh. Look down again. There. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's okay. get back in the room and have a look around in there. Just see, make sure. Oh, I don't want to fall anything. down the stairs. 
you're not going to because it's a game. Right, right so have a look around for a light switch. Uh, no, yeah. the door there. Stereo. Oh, yeah. there it is. By the door, which does make sense. So press E. We don't get lost. Oh, nice TV. Is that where I'm going? Yeah. But you, that, you, the door's open, so you're the other side oh. of the door. What's that clicking? I'm confused. Press oh, S. <laughs> I'm disorientated. Right, you're behind. That's a wardrobe. Right, you're behind the door. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, you are so terrible. Hey, sweetie, it looks a bit dusty around there. <laughs> Maybe you should polish it behind the door. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, that was painful. <laughs> Oh, that was painful. <laughs> oh, Dirty that made, my, <laughs> that made my stomach hurt. <laughs> right, move down the corridor and let's see if there's another light switch or something. Let's illuminate the area. E bike, oh my. Right. What was that? <laughs> e by gum eye. E by <laughs> it was it was my take on some kind of northern <laughs> oh, right, okay. so I think that was a bit racist. I think you racist to that. northerners. I think you should cut that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't think it's racist. <laughs> Are you sure? Well, I, I don't know. We'll find out if we get any complaints. Whatever I said, well, get it top of our stairs. <laughs> Is that racist? I've never heard that saying. Yeah, that's what they say, don't they? Who says? Not North the parents. Turn the, let's get that light on. Get that light right on. Is that the party? <laughs> Something's. Yeah, it's where the question mark is. Oh, so go to go, go to, to the question mark. That's this is obviously going to be a little. I'm getting tutorial. nervous for a jump scare and I'm forgetting everything. Yeah, but we've not even got to the tutorial bit yet. Oh, it's telling us as a note. Master bedroom, other bedroom, living room. Look for channel numbers. Unlock it quickly. She's watching you. Who's watching us? <laughs> don't, don't leave the static on for too long. It makes her ears bleed. Right now, she's upstairs waiting for you. Use the cell phone by pressing the space bar. So we need to find so a five-digit password. What was on the wall? Can remember SD2. So the first one is two, I would suggest. Maybe. We'll find out. We'll find out. Okay, so... And she's waiting upstairs. Oh, and the music starts. You see, now... Oh, God! <laughs> so you've... Oh, what's that? There's a plaque there. So that's nine. Nine D-I. What's D-I? S-D-D-I. Oh no, because the other one had two. two. So maybe it's two, two. What's that one? That's we were nine. talking about Roman numerals the other day. What's D in Roman numerals? No, D isn't. Nu How do you know no. it's not? No, it's numbers are Roman numerals. Yes. It's nu nu so D isn't. D's like yes, a million, isn't it? X is a letter as well. It's still a Roman <laughs> numeral. Okay. I'm happy. I'm happy. We are not clever enough for this. <laughs> <laughs> right, there's another question mark on the bureau. E. 
press P to open pause menu. View documents in the pause menu under documents. Right, Mary click on Walker. Mary Walker. So she's the one that's waiting for us. I have written in this journal in a while. But I, I thought, haven't written it right. right. Let me do it. Let me do it. You do it. <clears throat> okay. oh, so aggressive. I haven't written in this journal in a while, but I thought I'd write something down. Right now, Lilith is six years old, while Marcus is, I think, four. The other day, she was painting a picture, and it looked fairly abstract at first, just a blend of seemingly random shades and hues. After making dinner, I came back to find her replicating a painting we had in our kitchen. It was remarkable. I haven't told Joseph yet, but I think Lilith could end up being a very special girl. I asked her where she learned to paint that way, she, but she responded in a confused manner as if all she was doing was casually playing around with paint. She managed to almost completely replicate the artwork, including even the smallest details of the piece. I'll definitely have to keep an eye on her talent. Right now, Joseph and I are both working parents. Financially, we're doing well. No real troubles, no family issues either. Besides his drinking problem. <laughs> <laughs> That's not an issue. I'll finish this entry up after I cook dinner. Well done. Thank you. I could have sworn that was actually Mary Walker then. <laughs> I was engrossed. No. <laughs> Okay, so we are back. Um, I, <laughs> I'm sure I have edited it so that you will be able to see that Steph pressed exit, uh, which exited the whole game. So we had to start again. <laughs> but I took the opportunity to burp. Yes. So. Yes, you did. <laughs> and um, that just goes to prove that what we were saying before... <laughs> We are a bunch of twats. So, <laughs> resume. Let's go. <laughs> so, we've got to find a key code. Oh, and also, I googled and D is 500. Yes. Yes, Which it is. I don't think is 500 relevant. is going to fit or is relevant, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. But All I think right. we're going to end up with a word, but then SD. Master bedroom, other bedroom, living room. Look for the channel numbers. Unlock it quickly. She's watching you. Don't leave the static on for too long. It makes her ears bleed. Right now, she's upstairs waiting for you. Channel numbers on the TV. There wasn't a number. It just said channel. Right. Turn on that TV. Channel oh, 97. channel 97. Right, turn it off. So we've got 97. Oh, I get it. Right, so master bedroom. So they're fuck all to do with anything. I don't know. I'm confused <laughs> and I'm scared and I feel so alone. <laughs> right, so we need to go to the master bedroom and the second bedroom to get the channel numbers. Okay. So we've got 97. Wait, wait, wait. What order is the rooms in? You want me to go look at the number yeah. again? So... Master bedroom. Nine order. seven is the last two numbers. Okay, so master bedroom. Yeah. We go into the master bedroom. We probably shouldn't have left. Right, turn on the TV. The TV, sorry, we left it on. Right. Look, I don't see a. Oh, eight. eight. So it's eight something something nine seven. So turn right. the TV off. Eight something nine seven. We're going to unlock the phone. First call, phone call we'll get is, uh, have you been sold, uh, Miss Selfie? <laughs> have you been in a car accident? Turn the flashlight off. Eight two nine nine seven. Eight two nine nine seven. Oh, high five. Okay. Close it. Do I click that? Yeah. But that's... Oh, a closet. Okay. Help, JPG. Okay. Click on the clock. Sleep. <laughs> okay. Video. Click on them all. Oh, no, we've seen that. Okay. Work. Hey, it's your manager, Mark. 
Are you available to work next weekend? Emma can't come in, so it will only be you and Katie. It's going to be a pretty busy weekend, and she could use the extra hand. Thanks. That's weird. Help, please. Attempt number 89264. I'm confused. Yeah, I'm a bit confused. If you're receiving this, you have been chosen to participate. And it is the <laughs> shittest phone I've ever seen. <laughs> We believe you are qualified to be a representative of a specific demographic group we are studying. To continue, please proceed to the survey app found on your mobile device. Uh, if you click on that blue... Okay, settings. The green cog. Uh, okay, <laughs> the question mark. Welcome to the survey. You have been chosen to represent certain different demographics that currently is being studied. If you want to continue, are you sh currently situated in your home? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> are, you are you currently, currently? employed? Yes. Do you use your mobile device often? Did you forget your password for your mobile device? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Well, we did, I guess. Was finding the password for your phone easy or hard? <laughs> hard. Is anyone with you in your house currently? No. no. Is anyone supposed to be with you currently? No. Yes. No? Mm. Well, I'm assuming he lives alone. Yeah, but oh. it's the family. Isn't it? Are you telling them that if you're telling whoever it is that someone's going to be home shortly so that they leave us alone? Are you a college student? Yeah? Do you enjoy being home alone? <laughs> That's when it's party time. Lonely party time. <laughs> Go on. Party one. <laughs> we'll pack a one. <laughs> Does it ever feel creepy when you're at home alone? Yes. Have you ever experienced the phenomenon of feeling if you are being watched, but in reality you are not? Yes. Individuals report this phenomenon quite frequently, especially when around certain paintings, dolls or statues, or any of those objects inside your house. Yes. Was that creepy doll in the living room? Yeah. Did you see it? How many televisions are you currently in your house? Plus two. Thank you for your participation. Please take a short break. We will continue. So, okay, thanks. Click continue. Okay, turn that TV off. Let's get that badger ride off. Eat. <laughs> okay. That was the creepiest survey. Right, go into the office and see if we can pick up that key. Yeah. Uh... Why would you get up in the middle of the night? That's the office. That's the office, yeah. Why would you get up in the middle of the night? Holy sh... <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't have done the survey. Maybe. Uh, I, I... I bet... I bet when... Um, when the game gets going, we're going to have to keep turning off the TVs. <laughs> Is that? Oh, God, moved? it's moved. Look. And the tap's turned back on. And what's that? Oh, no, that was the fridge. The lights are on. They're not. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, go and turn the TV off. I'm not going anywhere near that fucking thing. Do it. Oh, and there's a new note. Right, turn. She's she. This it is... makes her ears bleed. Oh God! Why is it moved? Look, that's where. Oh, that's where it smashed. Right. Okay. See. Everything's I'm fine. My it's eye only on a that. little girl thing statue. Right. Just read the note. Just watch her. I'm watching her. I'm watching her. I'm. Ah, uh, I can't. Look get, down. I'm look. looking down. You're not looking down. Look, I look am to the right. Look, you can clearly see I'm looking not down. Enough. Look to the right. I look can to the see right. My to the right. I'm looking... To the right. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, I look to the right. Right. 
Look to the right just a smidgen. <laughs> you can see the piece of paper in front of the fireplace. You can see it. Look at I'm it. I'm looking at it. No, you're looking oh at the... Oh, my God, what do right. you want from Right, me? let me show you. <laughs> that is looking at it. But I was looking... I was waiting for the dot so we can pick it up. Yeah, we just need to find where the dot is. Right, how do you crouch? Can you crouch? Ah, can't do it, can you? Ah. Yes. Right, document. Do not press <laughs> exit. <laughs> I'm going to press it just to piss you yes. off. <laughs> press documents. <laughs> Shall I read it? No, you, uh, local prodigy, you need to click on. You read it. <clears throat> August 29th, 2009 Lilith Walker began painting when she was 6 years old Though only being 12, this child prodigy is able to recreate masterpieces with only rudimentary materials The child belongs to the local Walker household Her father, Joseph Walker, construction worker Along with Mary Walker, working as a secretary at a law firm According to Mary and Joseph, Lilith loved to paint and expressed her talent early. She also stated that she practices anywhere from 5 to 10 hours a day just to perfect her craft. Her artwork is gaining popularity, as demand for her pieces and replications have skyrocketed recently. Although she enjoys painting, she also plays a variety of instruments, such as the violin, piano and cello. On top of painting, she also enjoys... And that's it. It's just a scrap, that's where it ends. So click back, click resume. Resume. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? do? Ah, I, ah, I ah. will cry. Resume. Do you want to see me cry? Resume. There we go. Smash it. Get Jeez, it. She's just, she's Get just it. a statue. She's not even staring at us. She's looking at the fire. <laughs> okay, okay, so Lilith next. Walker is the ghost that's coming to get us. That's what's cracker lacking. You right. reckon? Yeah. That's what that meant. I think Lilith Walker is 12. She's been killed. Uh, turn that tap off. Turn the tap off. I can't you see right? the tap. Um, and she doesn't like static because she only loves the, the sound of sweet violins and pianos. Is there anything? Oh, for the next portion of the survey, we will need you to fulfill a request. We will need you to check if your bathroom appliances are working, specifically the sink and light switches. Please enter the bathroom in your master bedroom and check if those appliances are working correctly. So maybe we should have done that and not just turned on all the TVs. Hold Press on a second. Bar. It was my idea to get phone out. It you was. think you're so clever? I never. I didn't say anything. Uh, door straight ahead. There is the toilet. Miss, I'm the one that closed the game down completely, so we had to start again. Just never gonna look, look down. <laughs> right. Oh, the curtains closed again. No, uh, the curtains always been closed. Oh, that was the other bathroom. Yeah. Okay. Right. So. Oh. Oh. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh! I just 
heard something there. Someone's crying. Press documents. Let's have a read while we listen to someone cry. Press documents. I did press documents. Press Lilith note one. <laughs> Let's hear what Lilith's got to say. Shall I, shall I play the part of Lilith before you're Mary Walker? This will be good. I asked mum to get me a diary after my first painting <laughs> sold. I just thought it would be nice to write down some of my thoughts. Mum and dad want me to keep painting, but I don't know if I should. It seems like all they want to do is make money from it. This reporter came in the other day. His name was Rick Driver, and he asked us a bunch of questions. Apparently, we're going to be in an article in the local news. Mum said it would help me with my publicity. I hardly even like painting, but whatever makes them happy, I guess. I actually like playing the violin and piano way more than painting. I mean, it's okay, but it's not something I enjoy doing that much. I just hope they include Marcus in the article. I know how much he loves writing. It seems like Mum and Dad barely even paid any attention to him. Is this my fault? Yes, it is. Maybe he hates me. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll trip, fall down the stairs and break my arm so I can't paint anymore. At least for a while. Oh, that's Lily. so sad. Uh, sounds like a bit of a whiner to me. Yeah. But <laughs> Aww. Press back. I'm clicking back. Press back. Press. Pre I'm, pre I'm pressing back. Press back. I'm pressing back. Obviously, you weren't. Press <laughs> resume. No! <laughs> Were you jokingly doing it then, or did you almost get to do it? <laughs> You almost went to do it, didn't you? No! <laughs> right, can you t turn on the taps? It wants us to check the taps and lights. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. And what? The turn lights. on the light? Turn it back on. Okay, go back to the phone. I S C O. What? Oh god. Space bar. I'm turning the light back on. Okay. Space bar. That's if you dream. say click continue, when you've clearly seen me click continue. You need to click continue. <laughs> <laughs> you need to click continue. I'm clicking continue. Have you tried clicking continue? I'm clicking continue. Are they working properly? Yes. Oh. Oh no. She heard you. Hide. What the fuck? What? I don't know because you quickly clicked <laughs> through. So I have no idea what that said. I don't think we need to hide. Click continue. Thank you for your input. The next set of questions involves your personal preferences concerning music. Okay. I'm telling you, I'm clicking it and it's just ignoring me. <laughs> but I don't want to click too much and do what I just did. Can we turn the tap off now? Press space. Go back and turn the tap off. Press E. <laughs> Press E again. <laughs> there we go. I don't think... Shh. That was the dog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, press continue. I am pressing continue. <laughs> this is the slowest game I, ever. <laughs> yes. Do you do enjoy you... listening to music? Yes. I'm clicking it. It's like it's not registering it. Well, you need to keep clicking it until it clicks and then don't click it again do you enjoy listening to rock yes i do do you enjoy listening to rap no no not no click no i'm clicking no have you tried clicking no <laughs> don't you shake your head at me you can see me clicking it can't i can you? see you clicking it Do you enjoy listening to classical music? Some. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember your sister's taste in music? No. Bross. So that's acknowledging <laughs> that we're Marcus. 
Ooh. Ah. You even remembered the name. We were really jealous how gifted she was. However, one always paid attention to her. No. Have you... We have a song that you might enjoy listening to. Turn on the radio downstairs and listen to the song. He was wrong. We don't want to listen to it. <laughs> uh. Oh! Turn around. That's Fudge Bros. Well, it's definitely. Ah! Ah! Torch is gone. Torch is gone. Press F. Press F. F. Oh. Okay. Turn. Look around. Has the dot? Has the thingy gone? No. She's still there. <laughs> Something's building. Okay, we need to turn the lights back on. Maybe check the phone. Okay, we need to ex exit this place. To your left. Oh. oh, flickering lights. Okay. All right. Shit's getting real now. Come on. Take a step back. Just a bit too close. A bit more. A bit more. <laughs> a bit more. A bit more. A bit more. Look up. A bit more. Back a bit more. Back a bit more. There we go. <laughs> it isn't just me. <laughs> Documents. I clicked it before you fucking say anything. I clicked it. <laughs> oh, look, I clicked it again. You can see my finger moving. I'm clicking it. There we go. Marcus, note one. Okay. Right, I'll be Marcus. You'll be Marcus. I'm clicking it. I'm <laughs> clicking it. I'm clicking it. Okay? <laughs> click it. It's a double click. <laughs> <laughs> we have to double click everything that's why i've constantly been just clicking once thinking why is this working oh my god oh how do we even get dressed in the morning oh my god <laughs> all right here goes so, my sister gave me a journal, even though my mum said no. She said that after her first painting sold, mum would get her a few. She gave me one of them, so I'm kind of happy about that. Nobody really knows that I'm really into writing besides my sister. This reporter met my family the other day. After cleaning the house, taking out the trash, doing the dishes, wiping the floors clean, and sweeping up all the broken beer glasses, from dad I assume. And lastly, after vacuuming the house, I was excited to meet the reporter. I saw him pull into the drive away, pen and notepad in hand. As I saw him get out of his car, my dad told me that I had to stay in my room. This is Harry Potter. It is a bit like Harry Potter. I tried to ask him for a reason, but he just sort of pushed me in and slammed the door shut. The door, just before closing shut, struck my nose and I started bleeding. It was really the first time I've ever seen that much blood. It tasted very metallic, as if someone took a cup of water and dropped a bunch of coins in there, then drank it. That's really descriptive. I never got to meet that reporter, even though I really wanted to. Marcus. Right, I feel like... Oh, double click, you say. <laughs> <laughs> right, resume. Double There's click, resume. There's something wrong with the electrics. That's all right. Okay, uh, back upstairs, I guess. So we're Marcus, who was neglected by the parents because Lilith had the power. <laughs> oh! <laughs> OK. 
Okay, so that's coming oh, from a closed that's up. That's creeped me out a bit now. Can you get past it? No. No. Alright. Um, what does that mean? So try the door, maybe? The lock, lock, lock door? Okay, look at the phone again. <laughs> Double click. <laughs> I can't believe that. Did you enjoy the song? No. No. Do you remember what happened to her? No. Because believe it or not, we're ma not Marcus. Do you remember what happened to your family? No. The screaming. Can you hear it? Lie. Have you seen her? No. Are you lying? No. <laughs> so a shadow of a man. Turn around. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Error. Error. Eight two nine nine seven. That's the code of the phone. Okay, let's turn around. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well. So she's just a statue. Okay. So is that Lilith? No, it won't let me past her. I'd, I'd punt that statue in the face. Oh, there's more. Click on mom. How are you do How are you two doing? I know it must be hard for you with college work and taking care of Lilith. I'm at a hotel right now. I'm supposed to meet my clients tomorrow. I should be back within a week. Stay strong, Mum. Okay, eight two nine six four. Okay. Are there any pictures? More pictures. We've not been in the closet for a while. There's not. Not been any reason to go into the closet. Time until next hint. <sighs> right, so the phone gives you hints. <laughs> oh. Oh. Right, look down now. Holy sh shit. Okay, look. look Something's down. been dragged in that door. God, we are so rubbish. Right, you, you need to step back. What have we learned about picking oh notes up God. from the floor? <laughs> right, there we go. What was that? <laughs> Someone knocking on the door. Right, documents. Lilith Note 2. I'm kind of sad. I mean, I'm only 15, but Mum and Dad are driving this whole painting thing a little crazy. They keep asking to paint for hours and hours and hours. It's not even something I'm passionate about. I really like playing the violin, but I'm not that great at it. But it's really fun. Both of my parents are really pushing this painting thing. They quite both of... They quit both of their jobs just to pursue it because it apparently makes them a lot of money. They never even asked if I wanted to keep doing this. I guess I don't really have a choice right now other than to keep painting. Maybe I'll make an excuse. Or maybe I'll try telling them no. I wish they would pay more attention to Marcus too. He put so much effort in everything and he does really well in school. It was Christmas of the week and we had some family over. Marcus just looks so gloomy, so alone. Nobody even got him a Christmas present, besides me anyways. Aww. It's like he doesn't even exist to anyone else. I feel terrible. Also, Dad has been drinking a lot more lately. I mean, he always had some drinks, but he's doing it more and more. He gets scary to him sometimes, Lily. <sighs> There's a very sad backstory going on here. Yeah. Right, try and open the door. Yeah, I don't want to open that door. Try and open the door. <laughs> try and open the door. Here it goes. Oh, there's a surprise. Ooh, I think they'll let us get the key on the desk now. <laughs> Shall we have a go? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> right, now pick say up the key. it to me. Pick up the key. No, pick it up. No. Uh, why is everything so bright? How do I... Yeah. <laughs> right, let's take a step back. Oh, there's a cigarette burning on the... That's odd. Pick up the key. Pick, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get up. the dot. You say go backwards. I'm going. No, no, don't backwards. go that far backwards. 
Right, look at the key. Look at the I'm key. looking at the key. You know, you're looking in the general direction of the key. If I wasn't looking at the key, you wouldn't be able to see it, would you? You're looking in the general direction of the key, not at the key. Christ, looking at the key. <laughs> you weren't, otherwise the dot would have appeared. Right, let's go downstairs again. I think we've played this game in the worst possible way, humanly possible. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good fun, so it doesn't really matter, does it? But it's, you know... <laughs> Holy oh, crap. it's just a chair. Oh, God, another note. Oh, gardening right. equipment. V-I-E-A. Oh, what oh. do them damn things mean? I don't know. I hope it doesn't need us to put them all together, because... Right, press P. Press what? P for Papa. Bring up documents. Documents, no. Or oh, exit documents. <laughs> I hate painting. Mum and Dad want me to finish one piece a week. It takes anywhere from 8 to 12 hours a day for me to meet that quota. On top of going to school, I tried to tell my dad to slow things down, but he wouldn't listen. Today I tried to stand up to them. I tried telling him that I didn't have the right colour of red, so I wouldn't be able to finish the painting, even though I did. Oh, God, what a bratty teenager. So he called Marcus down. <laughs> he grunted. So you don't have the right colour of red? You could smell the alcohol from his breath. He took Marcus and he started hitting his <gasps> him. He started hitting his oh, him. this is harsh. Until blood started to drip from his nose and eventually his lips started to tear open. He threw Marcus to the ground and continued to beat him and kick him until he was bloody. He was a bloody mess. He took a can of booze and poured it all over Marcus and walked off muttering something. Mum just turned a bly eye and started cleaning up the blood. Marcus sat there unconscious for a bit and I helped him up to his room. He didn't say anything. All he did was smile. He had a wide grin on his face. I stayed with him until he fell asleep reading this book about cars. Oh, this is just... heartbreaking. Yeah. Okay. And why is he... Gr why was he grinning? Oh! oh! <laughs> Hello, Trick P. Oh, Lilith, you crazy cat. I don't think that is Lilith. It Unless said she's get, behind going you. deep and it's like some fairy representation of Lilith. Oh, maybe. Let's check the survey. Question mark. Alright. Guess we're walking around the house again. I'm a bit traumatised. <laughs> <laughs> has the TV changed? Yeah, look at the TV. I think there's a... There's definitely something on there, isn't there? I can see someone standing in there. Hmm. Does it have any meaning? Turn it off. <laughs> we don't need to see that. Turn it off. Turn it off. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Mm, Look down. I know that. Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> no, don't walk forward. I'm trying. Just try. <laughs> You're not looking at it. I am fucking looking at it. <laughs> you can clearly see me looking at it. What? Why do they make it so hard? You're not looking at it. There you go. There you go. You, you, there you go. You're looking at it. Oh, I worked so hard for that. <laughs> uh, turn around. Turn around, turn around. Okay, well clearly nothing's gonna happen yet. Let's have a look at the document. Death of two siblings. Oh. Oh. Right, I'll, I'll do the newspaper voice. Go on then. Oh, here do it goes. like a newsreader. <clears throat> two bodies were recovered after a fire erupted inside a suburban house near a local elementary school. The fire apparently started late at night as neighbours were the ones to report the incident. 
Names have not been released, but the victims were identified to be a brother and sister in their late teens. The two were home alone while their mother was on a business trip. The brother was going to high school and also worked a part-time job at a grocery. How the fire started is not clear, but authorities have not ruled out foul play. According to investigators, a candle that was <laughs> knocked over could have caused the tragedy. Officials have not ruled out foul play as a cause, but aren't suspicious of it due to the circumstances of the situation. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So, hold on a second. I was insistent that was Marcus. So we're not Marcus, and that's where no, the ghost of Marcus. Marcus. Yeah, but they don't. Well, someone sent in a survey to... Shh! The fudge balls! Right. Is that coming towards us? No, walk towards it. Look at it. Look at okay, it. I'm looking at it. <laughs> 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 Doesn't sound good. That's the code. Eight nine two six four. <laughs> what the hell? I'm not controlling that. That's the code for the phone. Yeah. No, it's not. Told you we were in bed at the beginning. Shut your face. Right, am I in control again now? Eight, two, nine, six. No, no, no. Go down. So what am I doing now? I, I... Hang on. That's coming from the stereo. Oh, hang on. So we've now got part. He watched her writing in pain as her condition set in, knowing nothing could be done to help her. Among all her family, she loved him the most yet. Uh, see, that says 82964, whereas he's saying on the radio 89264. Turn around. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing there. Okay, so I have all the smarts in the world <laughs> and I figured out this puzzle. You don't really do you? What's happened? What happened is we paused it while I went and read a guide. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that number that was being called out, which is um, slightly different to what's on the message. So it's 89... Two six four. Mm -hmm. We need to go to those plaques and click on the plaques in order. So we need to go to eight nine two six four. So the number eight. Actually, I think the I think the first three they're all downstairs. Um, so if you head to the so turn the lights on if they're not already on. Yeah, they are. Right, so the one in the living room I think is number nine. May as well so, have a look at it while we're here. Right. So it's eight nine two six four. So you touch it. Yeah. If you if you look at it, don't press anything. But if you look at it, oh, that's nine. So that's the second one. So it's not highlighted. But when we when we come to it, it'll be it should be highlighted. So all that going on about the flipping Roman numerals and all that bobbins. Yeah, I don't know. So we need to find eight, which I think is in the dining room. Let's um, go to the dining room then, shall we? We shall. We shall indeed. Um. So I've I, the walkthrough t says it takes about fifty minutes to finish this game. So far, it's taken it's us taken ten, fifteen years. A pr it feels like that, yeah. And I'm sure people watching this, which I will cut a lot out. All right, so I'm looking at it. That's eight, so it should be that first. I don't get no dots, love. Oh, there it is. Press it. Yank. 
Okay, now move and go towards the nine. That was weird. Yeah. Where is the nine? In the living room. We've just looked at it for about 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and you say, my memory's bad. <laughs> so, eight, nine. Two is in the back bedroom. So, if we do this one next. Oh. I'm not. We've got some lag. We've got some. Is lag. that lag or is that part of the game? I think it's lag. Oh, there we go. It was just, you know. <laughs> right, step back. <laughs> there you go. Now press it. Right now, back up to the back bedroom. Because how would we, two superior people of intelligence such as ourselves, mm, 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 know mm. to do that? Indubitably, it is a quandary. <laughs> um, you know, but <laughs> did I use that in the right context? <laughs> um, I'm not sure that's what Sherlock Holmes says, isn't it? Well, what we did here was um, we took away all of the uh, uh, possible answers, and whatever's left, we eliminated. no matter how improbable. Um, what he said no matter how improbable impossible is the answer right okay. right back bedroom where the tv's on where's that voice coming from um i'm not i'm not gonna lie to you um i only read the guide to the end of this puzzle <laughs> right. well i didn't want it to spoil i didn't i wanted to be scared have the scared feelings right now so eight nine so we've done eight nine two so we need to find six and four. So there's one in the hallway at the top of the stairs. How are you remembering where all these are? Oh, you read the guide, of course. No, no, I didn't. I didn't read the guide of where the plaques were. I've just no remembered them from being around the house. Turn around. It's just there. Ah. But we'll have a look at what number it is. If it's four, we don't want to put... That's four, so we need to find the plaque for six. <laughs> in that cupboard there okay six right now up the top of the stairs i didn't want to spoil the game uh, this very long long game <laughs> that's taken like two hours i am really not looking forward to editing this <laughs> right t left t left there it is just t left there it is you're walking into the banister. You're oh, walking for into God's the banister. sake! <laughs> Am I up? What? There you go. It's just there, look. Okay. Okay. We have done that puzzle. Okay, let's check the phone. Okay, so there's no new messages. Find the pictures hanging on the walls with these room numbers. Activate them in this order. Eight, nine. It will open a door. Ah, okay. So the door, the only door that was closed was that one. <laughs> Just... Ah! There wasn't any other doors that were shut. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid to say that Steph is no longer with us. She's not dead. She just couldn't play this game anymore. The game glitched, and after we did that puzzle, that door was supposed to open, but it didn't. So I had to start the game all over again, and now I'm all alone. So very alone. But at least we're not walking into walls anymore, um, and... Yeah. So let's let's close her up and let's see what we have in here. Okay. What's that say? 
You can't make it up. <laughs> Literally, start again. <laughs> and then again, Amazon delivery. <laughs> this is not a good YouTube day. We've been doing this for about three hours, and then I've got so much editing to do. <laughs> but anyway, the screaming, the crying, can you hear it too? For eternity, I have loved, and for, and for one more, I shall live on. Okay. All right. So we've got some nice paintings here. All right. What's that say? Lilith Note 4. Well, oh, that's not good. We'll go and investigate that in a second. I can't move. Today I woke up and I can't really explain it, but my right hip just feels extremely stiff. I tried to get out of bed, but I can't, can barely turn my body without feeling pain. Update. My parents took me to the hospital just in case it was severe or life-threatening, but the staff seemed to be clueless as to what I actually have. They said they will need to complete further x-rays. Possibly even use an MRI in order to verify their diagnosis. Hopefully I won't have to paint or anything. Ugh. I also had a really weird dream. I was alone in the house with Marcus, but for some reason he was always afraid of me. Every time I would try to get close to him, he would run away in fear. It was such a weird dream because in a way it felt like it lasted forever. Okay, so who am I? Is this a dream? What's going on? Okay, so we've heard some smashing. The question is, what smashed? And where? Uh, I think it sounded like it was downstairs, so... I'm going to turn this light on. Oh, God. Was that always there? Oh, there's two. Okay. In fact, let's... Let's turn the light on. And of course the dog's whinging. Of course he is. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay. Let's have a look-see Joe at what's going on. Okay. Uh, diagnosis. To the Walker family. We had some difficulty in regards to diagnosing your daughter's specific condition, but we have concluded that it is fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva. It is a very rare but severe condition where the patient's soft tissue, when repaired, becomes ossified, basically turning into bone. This is due to a mutation in the repair mechanism of the body that results in this condition. There are treatment options to slow down the process of the condition, but I admit the future looks fairly grim. In all honesty, this is what will eventually happen. The disease will spread throughout her body until most of her soft tissue, including tendons, ligaments and even muscle, will become ossify ossified. The most we can do is provide medication in order to relieve the pain, but other than that, the condition has always been fatal. Your daughter might be able to make it to the age of 40. If she is lucky, if she is lucky, please let us know what direction you would like to take. Thank you for your patience. Is that a way to tell someone that they're basically dying? Send them a letter? Surely that would be better in person. Oh, shoot your face. To the Walker family, we had some difficulty in regards to diagnosing your daughter's particular condition. Oh, it's the same. Marcus Note 2. Oh, it would help if I read the actual right one. My parents took Lilith to the hospital after my sister said she felt immo immobile around her hip. She said it felt completely stiff, as if all of the muscles surrounding her hip had turned to bone. The other day, Dad threw me down the stairs because Lilith's paintings weren't selling as much as they used to. He thought it was an entertaining way to encourage her to paint better. As he phrased it, I dislocated my shoulder on the way down. After repositioning the joint back into the socket, I made a sling with some old rags. I found in the closet. It still stings, but it should heal within a few weeks to a couple of months. School isn't too bad. I'm working on this little project with my, with my some of my friends. We're trying to create our own braking system for a car, something that can be controlled remotely. I wonder if I can reverse engineer it to do the opposite task and maybe cancel the braking system remotely. That will be an interesting challenge, as long as I don't have to stay home, right? Okay. All right, well, there's no one around. Let's have a quick goosey gander. Let's do 
to any. Oh god. Oh god. Alright, let's let's turn the According to a recent poll, infidelity is at an all time high. This may be due to marrying too young, lack of commitment, or even financial instability. Let us examine the story of Joseph and Mary Walker, the two married and bore a daughter Lilith, who was very talented in many artistic mediums, especially in painting. I'm just gonna hide in the Mary cupboard. Also had a son named Marcus. Joseph worked as a construction worker, while Mary worked as a secretary for a local business. Soon after discovering Lilith's talent. Her parents encouraged her greatly to continue and perfect her skills. Eventually, a high enough demand for her paintings allowed the Walkers to become financially stable, simply by selling Lilith's art. Both Joseph and Mary quit their jobs, as Lilith's paintings sold anywhere from $5,000 to $15,000 a piece, wow, depending on the buyer. Due to this high demand, Joseph and Mary began to live life far above their means, taking advantage of their gifted child in order to satisfy their own greed. It started off with Joseph burning Marcus with cigarettes if Lilith refused to work. Slowly, the abuse became worse and more intense, until one episode landed Marcus in the hospital. Marcus had several bruises along with a dislocated arm. The family was forced to cover up the incident and no charges were filed. This abuse continued for a long time. Marcus grew accustomed to it. It was simply a part of his life, just as much as breathing or sleeping. After Lilith was diagnosed with a rare bone condition, everything changed. She lost her ability to paint, leading the family into a period of financial hardship. Joseph wasn't able to find work due to his alcoholism, but Mary was able to find a job at her old company. Her former employer kept in touch with her throughout the years. Tension began to build within the family. Marcus usually remained passive among family affairs, but the situation gave him much joy. They were suffering, and he knew it. He couldn't have been happier. 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 Okay. I think I'm the dad. Maybe. Um. I'm hiding in the cupboard. <laughs> I'm just going to stay here. Okay. I don't know what to do. Uh, can I turn the TV off now? No. Um. Oh, it stopped, okay. Those are heavy footprints. Footprints, footsteps. <sighs> My
My parents gave me the news. So I have this condition called fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva. Basically, it's a condition where my soft tissue, ligaments, tendons and muscles, gradually turn into bone. They said that eventually I'll lose mobility in my arms, legs, neck, everywhere, until I'll need a caretaker to basically do everything for me. Right now, I feel it in my arms and torso. For now, I just sort of stay in my bed. It hurts to walk around and I can't really exercise or damage my body in any way or else I'll spend, speed up the process. I moan. I'm only 15. I moan. I mean I'm only 15. So this is a lot to take in, knowing that I'll slowly become more and more immobile. It's a bit ironic, isn't it? I wish that I could stop painting or that I wouldn't have to anymore. And this was the answer I received. The best they could do was prescribe medication for the pain. A year from now, there is a good chance that I won't be able to walk and I'll be in a wheelchair or worse. I just hope my family will be stable without my help. I'll get. I'll be a pretty big burden. The other day I overheard my parents arguing. My mum brought up the idea of getting a divorce. I feel like this is all my fault. Okay. Okay. There's a note. I overheard them talking about what Lilith's condition was. Apparently she has some sort of bone disorder. Basically her body keeps becoming more and more immobilised until she's basically paralysed. The process can take a while, but it continually gets worse and worse. They seem very worried about it. As far as I know, Lilith won't be able to paint. I wonder what will happen. Mum and Dad were screaming at each other the other day. I've never seen them argue like that. It was quite entertaining seeing them bicker and yell. I had a wide grin across my face as I watched the spectacle. My parents have been trying to find work ever since they heard the news, but only my mum has been able to find a job with their old employer. Dad hasn't had any luck. This is quite an unfortunate situation. I did a bit more research on the condition and it seems incurable. My parents seem like they're in a state of panic. I've never seen them like this before. Frantic, scared and unstable. I've never been more excited in my life. I can't really blame him, the kid, for having these thoughts. His dad especially was a bit of a dick. Uh, okay. Oh, there she is. <laughs> my mum showed him the divorce paperwork and he was livid. I've never seen my dad this furious, his bloodshot eyes trembling in fear because he knew he was powerless against the decision. He kept taking beer bottles and smashing them against the kitchen table after he heard the news. She said she was tired of having him just drinking all day and not contributing to the family at all. I left a little surprise for him in the car. He'll find out while he's driving. Well, for now, I guess it's just, it'll just be me, Mum, and Lilith and I. She asked me to get a part-time job since we'll need the money to help with Lilith's medical bills. I don't mind working, even though I'm still in high school. I'd, I'll be pretty busy, but I guess I'll just have to deal with it. It'll be harder, though. I went to the doctor the other day and examined my shoulder. It turns out I've had a torn rotator cuff for a while now. But I've never been able to get it checked out because of Dad. I haven't been able to rotate my arm past 90 degrees without feeling this tearing sensation on the back of my shoulder. Thanks, Dad. I guess, in the end, everybody gets what they deserve. Okay. She's going to run at me, uh, you know, and I'm really worried about restarting the game. Um, I've seen the high school. So what did he... She said she was tired of having him just drinking all day and not contributing to the family at all. I left a little surprise for him in the car. He'll find out while he's driving. What surprise? Okay. Let's just turn all the lights on. Again. Oh, that was a bit of an anticlimax when I unpaused it. That was... I did ruin that. Okay, another note on the downstairs table. Okay. So whenever you find a note, she'll appear somewhere. If you look at her, she'll run at you. Oh. <clears throat> Suicide note. It's been hard the last year. I've been working overtime almost every week at my job, ever since the divorce, just to cover everything. Lilith, well, she was bedridden and relied on Marcus for just about everything. Marcus was attending college and working at the same time. I went on a business trip for about a week. 
and I didn't get the news until I came home. The house caught fire. I was told that Lilith died, a horrific death burn burning alive as the flames consumed her. They said the fire started in a room, most likely by a candle that was tipped over. The neighbours said they all, all they heard was a haunting scream, like an animal that knows its death is approaching. Everything is gone. My kids, my house. Did I deserve this? I was so blinded by greed. I'm a horrible person. I let my son be abused for years just to force my daughter to paint <clears throat> and make myself some money. I guess Joseph got what was coming to him and now it's my turn. I just wish I could watch over them. So she killed herself. But what happened to the husband? Oh, It is a sad story. Fortunately, the individual suffered greatly while dying. I know a certain someone that would be happy to know so. Don't worry, I'm stuck as well. This was Joseph, bringing the local news to you. Okay, so, father died in a drunk drive incident. He suffered, and that was Joseph on the radio. I am obviously then Marcus, and... Lilith died, Lilith and Marcus died in the house fire. Yeah, I'm ignoring you. You can stay the fuck over there. Why does it get caught there? Yeah, yeah, she's, she's in the back bedroom. I'm just going to ignore her for a minute. Yeah. Oh, she's gone. Thank fuck for that. Okay, gonna get in this cupboard, you know, just while whatever happens, happens. It's been almost a year since I've been diagnosed. It's gotten worse recently. I'm losing control of hands, so it's getting quite difficult to write. One day I woke up and I'm unable to move a certain part of my body. It's a bit horrifying having all your muscles, ligaments and tendons slowly turn into bone. Marcus has been taking care of me. I feel like I'm such a burden to him. On top of school, his part-time job and taking care of me, he seems so busy. Mum's been working overtime almost every weekend just to help with my medical bills. I mean, we have insurance and we still have some money left over from my paintings, but it's still getting pretty tough to pay for everything. I can't walk anymore, so I'm pretty much confined to my bed most of the time. My favourite part of the day is when my brother comes in to check on me. Hopefully he'll never read this. This is embarrassing, but I feel like I'm holding him back after Dad died. He just seems so much more alive. I guess he got what he deserved. But this is my punishment too. Okay, that's Lilith playing piano, which is what she loved doing. Where's that? That is... The hallway outside. Which I'm assuming I'm not going to be able to go through. Okay, I need to keep watching that then, don't I? Um, you know what she's coming this way so I am going to ugh. or does she oh god is she tapping on the door was that tapping or was that the door creaking open do I open the cupboard door do I open the cupboard door Oh, she was going. She was going through here, maybe. Maybe not. 
Oh, another no. I can barely keep up with everything. I was accepted to the university that I really wanted to attend, but I decided not to go through with it. If I did leave, no one would be here to take care of my sister. If I'm being honest, I wish I could leave. I want to move on and just forget about her, mum, dad and all of them. I've decided to attend this community college first and then transfer to a university afterwards to save money. Also, I won't be in a ton of debt after I graduate, so that'd be nice. Last night, I saw something a bit disturbing. As I made my way to my room, this door was slightly ajar and I could also hear this high-pitched scraping sound. It was my sister scraping her nails against the wall. I turned the lights on and there was blood covering her hand. She was running the tips of fingers across the wall up to the point where her fingernails were now loosely attached to her finger. She seemed so out of touch with reality. I looked her at her other hand, but it was bent in an awkward position, her wrist bending toward her body while her fingers looked stiff. This thing in my house. I don't think this is my sister. My sister was a painter, a talented girl with immense potential. Her eyes gradually turned towards me. I felt them almost reaching out for me, pleading for comfort. I gave her none. Now, here's the thing. I feel like like I'm missing stuff because I'm constantly reading notes. And things continue to happen while I'm reading the notes. Um, which is fine, but now there'll be noise of some variety. Am I supposed to read the note now? Do you know what I mean? Oh God. Mum is leaving for about a week. She's going on a business trip, so she's leaving me in charge to take care of the house and my sister. I check on her briefly about once or twice a day just to make sure she's still alive. I might forget to check throughout the week, though. It's such a chore taking care of her. Why can't she just die already? Am I wrong for saying that? Because of her talent, her God-given gift to paint, it destroyed our family. Without it, everything would be normal. In the end, everybody gets what they deserve, and she's getting her end right now. Dad received his and mum is breaking her back just to make ends meet i wonder what my end will have in store who knows maybe i'll get the worst ending of them all i realize that my hatred for her is wrong and unjustified it wasn't her fault she was born with that skill i feel guilty that i enjoy hearing and seeing her in pain oh god it's immature reaction for so long i wish for someone to feel my suffering i would get beatings almost every week with my mum and sisters watching it was almost entertaining thinking of what i could tell people at school when they asked about the cuts and bruises now it's a little different i guess i'm in control and she's the helpless one i don't really believe in a heaven or hell but if one exists i'll probably end up in the latter okay oh torch red you see did i miss something i don't know so this is marcus's hell this is his end I mean, can we turn lights on? Ugh, for goodness sake. For goodness sake! No. Oh. This will be the last letter I write. I can feel my right hand becoming immobile and stiff. Mum left a couple of days ago and it seems... It's been to, up to Marcus to take care of me, even though his visits have been getting shorter and less frequent over the last few months. I understand I'm just a burden to him and my mum. He hasn't checked up on me ever since she left. I've tried everything, knocking and banging my hand against the wall, screaming. I mean, that's all I can really do since I'm practically immobile. Sometimes I get my hopes up hearing him walk up the stairs. Just maybe he'll walk through the door and check on me. Did I deserve this for not standing up to my parents and letting all this happen? All of this, it's my fault. I'm sorry, Marcus, I promise. I'll never be a burden to you ever again. So did she kill herself? Did she... Did she start the fire? Like, if you're going to give me a note today, then just say... Oh, there, there she is. <laughs> okay. Then what? Then what? Am I going to end up back in the bed? Oh, please tell me I'm not going to end up back in the bed. 
and have to wait another 20 minutes to get a new hint. I have no torch now. Life is pretty quiet, to be honest, right now. Between school and work, it's a bit stressful, but it's not bad, not as bad as before. Mom is set to come home in a few days. It was nice having the house to myself for a, about a week. I'll admit sometimes it gets eerily quiet, and sometimes I hear these soft knocks coming from the walls. Other times I'll hear crying and sobbing, sometimes even screaming. It usually doesn't last long, but it's still a bit unusual. I have a strange feeling that I've forgotten something, like I've forgotten to finish some sort of chore. Oh, well, it probably isn't important anyway. I had a strange dream the other day. I woke up in this house, but I was alone, but I felt as if something was watching me. I couldn't leave and every once in a while, something would attack me. Oh dear. She chose to end her life to ease her suffering. Emotions ranging from jealousy, hatred, enviousness, and frustration might have drove him to neglect her, despite her cries for help. Due to her rare disorder, she was extremely immobile and required help for the simplest activities. She required Marcus for everything. Marcus might have held animosity towards her, as for almost his whole life. Everyone had paid their attention to her. Perhaps Marcus wanted her to feel isolated and alone, an emotion he was very familiar with. He wanted vengeance for a crime she didn't commit. Marcus's body was mostly unharmed, though he was not conscious at the scene. He was taken to a local hospital, where he currently resides. He is currently in a coma induced by smoke inhalation and has been unconscious ever since the fire. No one knows when, or if, he will ever wake up or what he is experiencing. He could be experiencing nothing at all, or he might be suffering. The only living relative he had was his mother, Mary Walker, who committed suicide shortly after she heard about the incident. His father, Joseph Walker, was killed in a suspicious road incident where his brakes stopped working while driving under the... Marcus killed his father, of course. ...his unusual situation. No one is left to decide whether or not they should keep him alive in his coma. Many may wonder whether he regrets his actions, whether he regrets neglecting his sister, starving her, and psychologically torturing her to the point of suicide. Others speculate that years of domestic abuse by his father Joseph, along with neglect from his family, left him psychologically scarred. Whatever the case may be, he tortured and isolated his sister. His sister, who loved him, and did everything necessary to protect him. Hopefully all members of the family get what they deserve. In Marcus's case, he's stuck in his own personal purgatory stuck in a place between life and death, an eternity of suffering awaits him. Thank you for listening. This was Joseph Walker, bringing your local news to you. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. You can stay back. Yeah. Okay, so he killed his father by messing with the brakes. <sighs> he abandoned his sister for the week and she almost starved to death. Her mother committed suicide and now Marcus is in a coma. I think the story is really, really good. Um, I think the telling of it was a very slow. Like, the radio was... To tell the story was slow. But yeah, overall... You know, I enjoyed it. We had many, many, many problems throughout the recording of this video. And of course, 
all of them are Steph's fault. Um, I know she's not here to defend herself, but I'm sure she would say the same thing. So, thanks ever so much for watching. This has been the survey. I am in around plays, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!